T2S is a multilateral endeavour and Clearstream has always ensured the close involvement of its market participants. How has their feedback influenced your stance and shaped your approach to T2S? We're a public company, Deutsche Börse Group is a public company and doing what our customers want is very important and there are a number of reasons why we support T2S but probably first and foremost among those is that's what our customers want. And you say it's a multilateral endeavour, Louise, and you're right. Uh, we're 40% of euro area settlements and central bank money in Clearstream, in Clearstream Banking Frankfurt. And the customers are looking to us not only to facilitate or to transition their German market operations, but also potentially to concentrate pan-European operations uh, for, for, for German banks and banks beyond. So for them this is a critical discussion and we take it very seriously. We've discussed adhesion to this agreement, we've discussed the negotiation of the contract, we've discussed Clearstream's pricing with them, we've discussed the design of Clearstream's strategy going forward and we'll continue to do that. Lux CSD was founded only recently. How has T2S influenced your entry into the market? Well, we set up Lux CSD together with the Central Bank of Luxembourg and Clearstream. It's operated by Clearstream, in fact, because of T2S. Without T2S, it would never have occurred, but really would never have occurred as a, a, as a proposal, as an idea. So what happened is that in Luxembourg, the investors and the issuers, and it's a huge market, four trillion of securities, um, are all outside Luxembourg, virtually nothing to do with the industry and commerce of Luxembourg as a domestic market, which is probably a little bit more in economic terms than a small town. Um, so what's going on? With T2S, we can offer those investors and those issuers the ability to settle in central bank money on a pan-European basis. Previously, you could only settle through Target 2, through the cash payments platform, within a national community. And in Luxembourg, we didn't have a national community, we had an international community. So we want to leverage T2S to serve them, hence Luxist. How do you perceive sentiment towards T2S in the financial market in Luxembourg, given its specificities? For example, the setup of the funds industry. Well, I think the interesting thing about the funds industry is that T2S comes with a lot of other unknowns. Um, the funds industry in many ways is where the debt markets were say 40 or 50 years ago. So the majority of positions are still held directly with the transfer agents by investors. What has begun to happen in the last 10 years or so is organizations like Clearstream but also our competitors over in Brussels, Euroclear Bank, have started to immobilize funds and approximately four or five hundred billion, so a quarter of all international investment funds are immobilized, meaning that they're held on book entry accounts at the CSDs rather than directly with the plethora of transfer agents which exist out there. So there are really two things going on. Firstly, will people continue to immobilize? Will they therefore, as a product, as an asset class, start to witness internal settlement, that's something that we're going through and we're building the tools in the Luxembourg market to make that happen because it'd be cheaper and better for everyone. And then if we're successful at that, the question will be how much will settle in central bank money, hence on T2S. What we think is that probably about 40% of Luxembourg usits are targeted specifically at German, French and Italian investors. And therefore that 40%, so call it 800 billion to a trillion, probably could be settled with the following wind in T2S. But it's something we all need to make happen. In the Luxembourg market, we've seen the creation of two new CSDs in a short period of time. Is this an example of the competition we may see in other T2S markets in the future? I think it is. I mean, there, there, there are certainly other people who are thinking very hard about whether to form CSDs. And what's unique about T2S is yes, it's a central infrastructure like you would have in any one national country, Germany and France, but most importantly in the United States. But distribution of T2S will be competitive because it's manufactured by the Euro system, but it's distributed by the, um, by the CSDs. So inevitably, a level of competition will creep in and that's good and it's good for two reasons. It will keep prices lower and it will keep services innovative, which are the two big criticisms that you can level at, at monopolists who control 
market infrastructure. So yes, in Luxembourg, in a little while, we've crept into that space in order to make sure that we have the best chance of preserving and expanding our international securities franchise. The Danish have done something similar, but I would expect others to enter the market. Um, so yes, indeed, I think it's a hallmark of the competition that T2S will bring.